Hi guys and welcome to Diving Down Under. In this episode we're going to be looking at diving around the Mornington Peninsula. Now as you can see on the map I've highlighted all the best dives around the area. So in this episode I'm going to be giving a bit of an overview of each site. Now if you want more information on any of these sites visit my YouTube channel Diving Down Under where there is a lot more information available. So, without any further ado, let's look at Hastings Pier. Hastings Pier is a really easy, nice, relaxing dive. The best thing about Hastings is there's a little cafe, so after you finish your dive, you can come and have a bite to eat, you can debrief and talk about your dive. Maximum depth is around 5 meters. Just be aware though guys that Hastings does have a silty bottom, so if the weather is bad, the viz will be poor as well. There is a little wreck about 250 meters from the pier. However, if you do go to the wreck, guys, make sure you tow a dive flag as you'll be going straight across a boating channel. So overall, it's a good dive. However, I wouldn't recommend it for beginners. Now, Flinders Pier is the number one shore dive site in Melbourne. So why is it number one? Well, that's because of the abundance of life at Flinders, including cowfish, rays, and weedy sea dragons. And due to this, it makes an awesome night dive. And towards the end, there is a former wreck, which is well worth exploring. There is a huge car park and a toilet block as well. The maximum depth is around five meters, and this is a great dive for beginners. Now the blowhole is a really interesting dive. It's about three kilometers outside of Flinders town. There is a tunnel that runs through the head rock to the other side. However, make sure the weather is calm on the day you dive because this particular site is subject to changeable conditions. To enter the water, you will need to do a bit of a rock climb. And because of this, I recommend it only for advanced divers. Overall, it is a great dive. Now Diamond Bay is a great dive with plenty of life. However, like the blowhole, the weather needs to be calm or the visibility will be affected quite severely. The site is subject to changeable conditions, so watch out for rip currents especially. Because of this, this dive is not for beginners. It is a bit of a walk from the car park, but the site itself is well worth it. Maximum depth, you're looking around seven meters. Now Portsea is an easy relaxing dive, the entry and exit points are easy, the maximum depth is around 5 meters, and there is plenty of life here which also makes a great night dive. It's easy to navigate which makes it great for beginners, however just be aware that the tide can create a strong current here, which moves us into the Portsea drift dive. With this dive, the current can be used to drift us across to Point Franklin Reef. This dive is only recommended for advanced divers. Make sure you take a dive flag and also make sure your navigation skills are top notch. The maximum depth of this dive is around 15 meters at the end of Point Franklin Reef. So overall, both these dives are great. Just make sure you check the tide times accordingly. Now, like Portsea, Blair Gowrie is a very easy, relaxing dive, and it has its own entry and exit pontoon, which makes it very safe as well. Now, 14 meters depth is possible at this site if you carry on past the wall. However, if you do go past the wall, just take a dive flag with you, just in case. Now, current does affect this site, especially past the wall, so take that into account when you're doing your navigation. There is lots of life at this site, which does make an awesome night dive. So overall, Blair Gowrie is a great dive and very highly recommended. Now Point Lindley is located on the south side of Mornington. It has a maximum depth of around 10 meters. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled as there is a lot of marine life that likes to hide within the reef. I recommend that you drop your gear off by the boat ramps which is an easy entry but it's a long walk or at the end of the trailer park which is again a rock climbing entry a little bit more difficult but closer to the reef 
due to the proximity of the boating lane ensure you have a dive flag and are happy with your navigation skills. Overall it's a great dive, however I wouldn't recommend this for beginners. Now Mornington Pier has been remodelled and is due to finish in early 2017. At this dive site you can have two dives, one on the pier and one on the reef which is to the left of the pier. The entry and exit is easy and there is plenty of life to see. However, just ensure that you do take a dive knife with you due to the amount of fishermen in the area. At the end of the pier you're going to get around 10 meters depth and it makes a great night dive. Overall, highly recommended, easy going dive. Well that's it for this episode guys, as always thanks for watching. If you want more information check out the Diving Down Under YouTube channel, otherwise have a safe dive and I will see you next time.